Okay, so this is a very non-technical, just very regular intelligent kid playing video game review. Uh, I just went out to Fry's to get the, uh, this is the XL2410T by BenQ. And um, just right off the bat, by looking at the screens, it's kind of hard to tell on video. Let's see if I can focus here. This is my Alienware AW2310. And that's just a plain TN panel, not LED lit. And then you come over to here, here is the BenQ. Now I'm looking at the video screen, and it actually doesn't look so bad as it actually does in real life. But uh, amazingly, the Alienware, with a, um, you know, inferior quality screen, looks much, much better as far as color goes, um, as far as brightness goes. You know, this is on full brightness here. It is uh, in FPS mode, which is, I guess, the best mode for, you know, Counter-Strike and any other first-person shooter. It's, um, it's kind of dim. It's kind of washed-out colors, not very vibrant. Um, and you cannot change the colors when in FPS mode. You have to go into standard mode. So, uh, a little bit underwhelmed with that. Also, the stand is um, kind of just a plain old, elect like, kind of a basic stand. It's like a little air pump. It's kind of clunky and clinky. Um, but it does go very high, much higher than the Alienware stand does. But here, this is a good angle. You can see just how much brighter and more vibrant the colors are on the Alienware. Um, and the viewing angle. Um, horrible on the uh, BenQ. Pretty darn good on the Alienware. Um, I have to definitely say that I'm much happier with my Alienware purchase and I actually got it for 350 on sale from Alienware from Dell so I think that if you are in the need of a monitor, a 3D monitor, 120 Hertz uh, and you're playing Counter-Strike or StarCraft 2 uh, I really don't see the need for the BenQ um, I think Counter-Strike would be kinda hard to play um, with the settings as it is, FPS mode, it's really dark and washed out, and I know uh, someone who played a lot of Counter-Strike, um, it's not so easy. So I'd say either stick with your CRT, or if you have to get an LCD, I would say probably the Alienware. Uh, it's a really good deal, it's very sturdy, really nice stand, really just feels quality when you're moving it around. Um, anyways, I know this is not the greatest review, but I could not find any reviews, especially a video, comparing the BenQ to anything, really. And uh, the only reviews I saw of the BenQ were ones people complaining about the bleeding. Um, I, I think they fixed that uh, as of today. Today is the 22nd of March in 2011. And uh, I'm not seeing any screen problems other than uh, it being much bluer, less vibrant, and darker all around darker than the uh, the regular panel, the regular lighting of the uh, Alienware. So uh, I hope this helps some people out. Uh, I really wanted to like the BenQ. I actually was very big into Counter-Strike when they first announced it, and they were talking uh, about how, you know, Heat and Spawn, Heaton and Spawn were helping to develop it, but uh, I don't know, it just doesn't look good. Everything else seems nice, and uh, the price was three ninety nine. it's not horrible. Uh, but I just feel like they cheaped out on the panel. The lighting is no better than uh, the $200 Asus monitor I had before, LED monitor before. Uh, Alienware is just really superior in quality. So, uh, again, hope someone finds this useful. Thanks.